welcome to creata classes and also welcome to the ninth lecture under the permutation series yes this is the permutation series we are having a series of lecture on the various topic of the permutation refer our youtube channel for the complete list of videos on the various topics of the permutation apart from this lecture series we are also having a course on permutation and combination refer the link in the description about this we will discuss at the end of the video so without taking any further time let's begin with this video so best of luck so in this section we will cover some higher level of questions as compared to the questions we have discussed in the previous two lectures this will be a big lecture of around 45 minutes as we have covered some of the big questions so we have divided the lecture into total three parts and this is the first part so let's directly proceed with the questions our first question is how many five digit positive integers comprising only the digits 1 2 3 and 4 each appearing at least once exist such that the number is divisible by 4 this is the question pause the video and try to solve this question on your own so let's approach this question this question is asking for the five digit positive integer so let's take the five slots these five slots are denoting the five digit number further it is given we have to form the five digit number using the digit 1 2 3 4 okay we have to form the five digit number using these four digit and a condition is given that is each digit should appear at least once we are having five slot and we are having four digit and each digit should appear once means one digit will be repeating okay we are having four digits and each digit should come at least once so each digit will occupy the four slots and the fifth slot will be occupied by any of the repeating digit okay four digit will come normally and the fifth digit will be the repeated ones this is the condition that is given apart from this one more condition is given that is the number should be divisible by 4 we are having the five digit number how we will check this number will be divisible by 4 what is the criteria for that the criteria is that this is very important if the last two digit of the given number is divisible by 4 then the complete number will be divisible by 4 this is the criteria to check the divisibility by the number 4 if the last two digit is divisible by 4 then the complete number will be divisible by 4 got it we are having four digit so firstly we will check the last two digit of this complete five digit number that should be divisible by 4 if we place the digit 1 at this place and digit 2 at this place then this number will be divisible by 4 whatever the three digit we choose in these three slots this complete number will be divisible by 4 why because its last two digit that is 12 is divisible by 4 getting this fundamental by placing the digit 1 and digit 2 in the last two slot we can say whatever the digit we put in this three slot the complete number will be divisible by 4 got it this is the first case further let's check what are the various two digits that we can form at the last two slot so that the number will be divisible by 4 further if we place the number 2 and the number 4 in these two slot yes this number can be divisible by 4 further if we place 32 at the last two digit this number will be divisible by 4 further we can also use the number 44 at the last two digit okay we have seen we can repeat one number two times because we are having four digit and we are having five vacant slot so we can repeat one digit two time so here if we repeat the digit 4 two times at the last two slots we can say the complete number is divisible by 4 because 44 is divisible by 4 got it only four cases we can form where we can say the number is divisible by 4 okay now we will individually take all these four cases and we will try to solve out what are the various number of arrangement that we can form and in the end we will add all those arrangements so this is the approach that we will use so firstly we will take the first case that is in which we are having the number 12 at the last two digit 
now we will see what are the various number of arrangement that we can form by placing the number 12 at the last two slot and by using the number 1 2 3 and 4 and these numbers should come at least once in all these slots okay this is the condition that is given based on this condition let's approach the first case so our two slot has already been fixed so let's see what we can use in these three slots okay number one and number two has already been consumed so we can use the number three and number four in these three slots by doing so we are left with one slot okay number one has been used number two has been used number three and four we will use in any of these two slot mean one number will be repeated okay either we can repeat the number one or the number two or the number three or the number four okay getting this fundamental why we are doing so because of the digit 1 2 3 4 it should come at least once and we are having five slot means one number should be repeated it can be either one or two or three or four okay so again we are getting four cases let's see if we use the number 3 4 and 1 in these three slots we got the number of arrangement as 3 factorial okay three slots and the number of given input is 3 so we got our permutation as n factorial that is 3 factorial which is equal to 6 arrangement so if we use the number 3 4 and 1 we are getting total 6 arrangement got it further if we use the number 3 4 and 2 okay here we are repeating the number 2 so how many arrangements we can form here again we can form the 3 factorial arrangement that is n factorial got it 3 factorial that is 6 so by using the digit 3 4 and 2 we can form total 6 arrangement okay further if we repeat the number 3 that is if we use the digit 3 4 and 3 in this three slot how many arrangement we can form here is a trick now we can form total 3 factorial upon 2 factorial arrangements why we have divided this number with 2 factorial because here the digit 3 is repeating 2 times so we have divided our 3 factorial that is our traditional answer with the 2 factorial so we got total 3 arrangements okay let's move further now we will repeat the number 4 that is we are having 3 slot and the input is 3 4 and 4 okay number 4 is repeating 2 times how many arrangements we can form it will be 3 factorial upon 2 factorial that is 3 arrangement if we are using 3 4 1 we are getting 6 arrangement if we are using 3 4 2 we are getting 6 arrangement 3 4 3 3 arrangement 3 4 4 3 arrangement so in totality we got total 18 arrangement in the case 1 okay when the last two digit is 1 and 2 that is 12 then we can got total 18 arrangement got it so let's move to the second case where we are having 24 in the last two digit let's see how many arrangement we can form here we will use the same philosophy i am not repeating the philosophy we have already used the number 2 and 4 in the last two digit so we can use the number 1 and 3 in any of the two slot and one slot will be remain vacant that will be the repeat digit okay so the number of cases that we can form is 131 132 133 134 okay with 131 we got total 3 arrangement with 132 we got 6 arrangement with 133 we got 3 arrangement with 134 we got 6 arrangement in totality we again got total 18 arrangement in case of any doubt just comment below i will explain this in further detail okay so in the first case when we have used the 12 in the last two digit we got 18 arrangement when we have used 24 in the last two digit we got again 18 arrangement in the third case when we are using 32 in the last two digit we will again got 18 arrangement okay not going into the detail but we will got the 18 arrangement further let's take the last case where we are using the number 44 in the last two digit if you observe this is a slightly different case here it is 44 that is the digit 4 is repeating two times and we are having three slot what is the input to these three slot it will be one two and three okay none of the number is repeating here that is only one two three will be applicable 
and the digit 4 is repeating two times in the last two digits okay that has already been consumed so we got three slot and three input that is one two three so how many arrangement we can form we can form three factorial arrangement that is six arrangement okay the fourth case is slightly different as compared to first second and third so in the first case we got 18 second 18 arrangement third 18 arrangement in the fourth we got total six arrangement so our final answer will be equal to the case one or case two or case three or case four that is we have to add all these four cases that will be 18 plus 18 plus 18 plus 6 which is 60 arrangement that is the answer of the question okay got it slightly a lengthy one but this is the procedure that we have to follow okay got it so that's the answer of this question let's move to the next question the question is how many six digit positive integers comprising only the digit one or two can be formed such that the number is divisible by three so this is the question pause the video and try to solve this question on your own so let's approach this question in this question we have to form the six digit positive integer means we are having total six slot these are the six slot further the condition is given that is the integer that we have to form should only be comprised of the digit one or digit two okay this is the condition that is given further one more condition is given that is the number should be divisible by three okay these two condition are given first that is we have to form the integer which should be formed from the digit one and two and the second condition that is the number should be divisible by three okay so let's approach this question first of all let's check what is the divisibility rule of the digit three means how we will check that the given number is divisible by three or not the rule is that if we add all the digits of the given number the sum or the output of the addition of all the number if it is divisible by three then the given number is also divisible by three okay this is a rule that govern the divisibility of three that is we have to add all the digits of the given number and we have to check the addition or the output is divisible by three or not the same thing we will do here also okay further let's check what are the various arrangement we can form using the digit one or two so first of all let's check what are the various cases that we can form so firstly let's use all the digit using the digit one okay let's fill one in all these six digit we got the number as one 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 let's check if this number is divisible by three or not what we will do we will add all these six digits that will be equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 up to the last one it will be 6 and 6 is divisible by 3 so we can say this complete number will be divisible by 3 got it this is the fundamental that we will use so we got one number that is 1 1 1 1 1 1 that is divisible by 3 okay let's move further if we use the digit 2 in all this 6 slot whether this number will be divisible by 3 or not let's check let's add all these digits we got the addition as 12 and 12 is divisible by 3 okay so we can say again this number is divisible by 3 so we got again one more answer that is 2 2 2 2 2 2 which is divisible by 3 further let's check what are the various numbers we can form using the digit 1 or 2 that are divisible by 3 if we use 1 1 1 1 1 2 we have put the digit 2 in the last place is this number is divisible by 3 no it is not divisible by 3 because its addition is not divisible by 3 okay so let's put the number 2 here also let's add it our answer is no this number is also not divisible by 3 okay let's put number 2 here we got the addition as 9 okay it is divisible by 3 so we can say 1 1 1 2 2 2 is divisible by 3 so let's replace 2 here our addition is not divisible by 3 similarly this also the addition is not divisible by 3 so we got only the number 1 1 1 2 2 2 that is divisible by 3 okay means if we use 3 1s and 3 2s then that number will be divisible by 3 
got it we can use a number like 122122 or this number or this number all these numbers are divisible by 3 because it is having 3 ones and 3 twos and addition of 3 ones and 3 twos will lead to the digit 9 that is divisible by 3 okay so now our question is how many numbers we can form using 3 ones and 3 twos getting the fundamental we have to use 3 ones and 3 twos to form the various number which are divisible by 3 So we are having total six vacant slot. We are having three ones and three twos. So we can form total six factorial arrangement, and we have to divide it by three factorial and three factorial, because one is repeating three time and two is repeating three time. So we got total twenty arrangement that we can form using three ones and three twos, and all these numbers are divisible by three. Okay, got it. So we got total three cases. In the first case, we got only one number, that is one 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 one. In the second case, we got only one number, that is two 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 two. And in the third case, we got total twenty arrangement that we have used using three ones and three twos. So in totality, we got one plus one plus twenty, that is twenty two arrangements. This is the answer of the question. So students, we have done with this lecture. So that's it for this video. Hope you have liked the video and you have enjoyed the video. Apart from this video, we are also having a full-fledged course on permutation and combination. Refer the link in the description for the complete list of the course. Apart from this course on permutation and combination, we also have the course on various other mathematics topic using animation and the visual tool. Refer the link in the description for the complete list of the course on the various topics of the mathematics. Okay, students. If you like the video please like share and subscribe to our channel so thank you very much for being with creata classes bye for now